Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're on the main menu, and you might have noticed there's a new build on the table, one that we haven't seen before, which means something has changed in PC Building Simulator. You might look here and see version 1.6.5, which is a new version number. Um, we've got a new workshop, and maybe you could look at this case and guess which vendor we might have a new a new workshop from. Eh? Any guesses? Asus? Eh? No, we'd have that. Cooler Master? Eh? I don't know. That's an interesting cooler, but... Uh, or maybe... Maybe the case? Look at it. NZXT. Oh, man. So now we've got, obviously, the stock workshop. Razer. Asus. ROG. And NZXT. And I'm super excited, because NZXT is an awesome brand with this like a super crisp minimalist design so i'm so excited to check out the new nzxt workshop dlc look at it it's beautiful uh okay that seems bad save game error is this a new feature of the uh-oh oh did we lose all our builds oh boy that was weird i guess we're good what is it nzxt cola nzxt what does that say i cannot read it I can't read it. Next, N NZXT. Okay, got that. Yeah, I, I can read that. Something iced tea. Lemon iced tea? But I was trying to read below it. NZXT Club? And then I don't know what it says below that. It's too hard to read. Oh, man. This is so cool. So this is kind of cool because, like, PC Building Simulator kind of takes on, like, that dark purple color in their logo. And obviously, like, this is just screams NZXT. I guess they actually weighed in on the design of this workshop. So, like, they worked with the folks at a regular corporation who develops PC Building Simulator. And they actually got to, like, do this together. And, dude, it looks so sick. Like, look at this. This is the shape of the bridge. That, like, iconic bridge in all of NZXT's cases. That is so cool. Uh, here, and if you want to see... This is a NZXT build we did recently. You can see the bridge back there, kind of, eh, sort of. It's there. Um, dang, that's so cool. All right, T-shirts, got them. H210i, which we just built in right there. Just looked at it. Uh, we've got a bunch of NZXT pucks. Oh, they're like puck plushies. What? I didn't know that existed. That's hilarious. That one is on my face. Kraken X42. That's a small, like, 120 mil version. H510 Elite. Larger Kraken. We've got this small M22. That's a one -tool. I don't know. remember their SKUs very well. And then the gigantic Kraken X72, which is their 360 AIO. A uh, couple cases here. Looks like maybe like the 510 there. I don't know their cases super well, just looking at them. Uh, nice. couple power supplies for NZXT. Do they have power supplies in the game? I can't remember. X62 coolers. And dude, just all the pucks. All the pucks. Red, black, purple. You got them all. More NZXT, which is which is pretty hilarious. And uh, the mother of all pucks. Holy moly. If you guys don't know what the NZXT puck is, it's magnetic. Uh, you can, like, split it in half. You can wrap your headphones around it. You can hang your headphones on it, like, off the case. It's actually really cool. I, I think it's a, a neat thing. So, wow, we got, like, an NZXT mod mat or something, too. That's kind of fun. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the NZXT Workshop. It's just, like, super bright, and I like it. Like, I think builds are going to look really good in here because of the lighting. The lighting in, like, the Asus Workshop and the Razer Workshop gets kind of, like, biased, and it makes some builds look weird. But this... Oh, oh, this. This is good. All right. I think there's only one thing we can do. We got to test out the Workshop, guys. We got to, you know, make sure it... It works. Um, so we're going to do it with an NZXT build. I think we all knew that was coming, didn't we? I kind of really sort of want to do... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Ooh, purple. Uh, so purple. Wait, 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 wait. I want to build that galaxy case. Where's that? Help. How did... Eh. I, I want to build in the Galaxy case. So I really wanted to do a build in the Galaxy Edition H700i. And apparently it's an exclusive to those who bought it on GOG. So I guess I can't do that. Which is a super bummer because that case is awesome looking. Dang, I didn't know they had like ex like platform exclusive DLC. Whatever, so we're not going to do that. 
But uh, we're gonna do a build in the H510 fit, 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 the H510 Elite. We're gonna do black and white. We're gonna do black and white, and we're gonna do some purple water cooling and some purple like RGB, and it's gonna look super cool. And it's not gonna be Galaxy Edition, and that's fine, whatever. I'm gonna take up these fans, we're gonna do RGB NZXT. Ooh, actually, is that a thing? Is NZXT have RGB fans? I know they do in real life. They're actually pretty cool. I don't know if they do in the game though. No, why, why, why? Okay, we're doing white fans, we're gonna leave those. Those are great, those are awesome fans, I love those. I don't want RGB, to be honest. Those are so much, so much cooler. <sighs> I am gonna make these all white though, cause, you know, why not make a match? Why not make them match? Actually, I wonder where the reservoir goes in this case. If I was gonna put a reservoir in this case, it would look like that. That's amazingly large. Yep, doing that. We're doing that. Man, I love these upside down reservoirs. All about it. Just just all about it. Okay, cool. Good stuff. NZXT PC. You know it. We're doing an NZXT's white motherboard. They're Z390. Yes, yes, Z390. Yes. I wish they had uh, an AM4 board. But they don't. I don't know if they do in real life either. They don't make a lot of motherboards. Just a few. Just a couple. But they are cool looking. They're very sleek, very, very sleek. You know, I was just like, oh, we're gonna do purple water cooling, but I'm like, I should really be putting an NZXT AIO on this. So maybe I'm actually not gonna get to do uh, real water cooling. I guess, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Everything's gonna change. And I'm realizing if I do do water cooling, I gotta change those front fans. Everything's gonna change. It's okay. It's more about showing off it's more about showing off the room, right? 900K, I know. It's the only ship I ever use. You're right. Pretty, mu pretty much is. CPU. Grease. Ah, uh, uh, we're right. We should, do, we should do NZXT's cooling. NZXT. It'll be faster. Uh, okay, we can get an X62 in there. That'll be our largest. Gonna have to remove... We're gonna remove you. I know I messed with you, fans. I'm sorry. I kind of, I kind of jerked you around, and I'm, uh, I'm removing you. After all that, I'm also really, really not gonna need that. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Okay, here we go. Good stuff. No dust filter in front. For real. Weird. Wait, no dust filter? Is that really? That seems wrong. My S340 non-elite has a dust filter on the front. In real life. Seems like that one should. Okay. Memory. Memory. We're gonna do some white. Vengeance RGB Pro. Who's surprised? No one. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you guys wouldn't be. Really? Oh, I hate you. Order of operations. I don't know why. This In real life, so easy. You just kind of move the tubing slightly, but this is a game. Things are harder than in real life, apparently. Got my thermal paste. Again, nope. Yep, ZXT, yeah. Okay, for real, We're for real here. There, there it is, so much better. Okay, boop, boop, oh, that's so cute. Those are so funny. All right, room for a couple M.2 drives. What will fit? Ooh, um, oh, dude. Let's put these Patriot Viper boys in here, uh, please. Oh, okay. So it's probably not gonna fit in the small one, I'm guessing. Or, okay, no, no. Okay. Why does it show it? If it doesn't actually fit, what does fit? Does this one fit? These fit. These always seem to fit. Okay, weird. So there's like more, uh, huh. Okay, there's like more clearance in the bottom M.2 slot than the top one, I guess? Hmm. 
Who knew? Okay. Cool. Great. Wonderful. Awesome. Neat. We don't have room for a reservoir. We cannot do custom water cooling. We are a bit limited as far as that goes. Um, but NZXT. Oh, that's funny. So they don't have power supplies in the game. But they, they do have boxes over here with power supplies. They're E850 power supply. Oh, wait. Is that... Is that a... No. That's a standard... It's a standard size power supply. I don't think they make SFX power supplies. Wow. Right? I mean, they do not have a power supply in the game. Huh. Maybe they will soon, though, because I know they do make them. Obviously, they have a box for it. Uh, cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll just uh, throw in uh, UGA Supernova 750. Sure. Crazy. I bet that happens. It seems like the NZXT guys work pretty closely with the people at PC Building Simulator, so I kind of think that might happen. Purple. This purple ends up being so, like, hot pink. I just want purple. Like, I want actually purple. Like, purple like the room is purple. Better, I guess? I'm not, like, super into the, like, duo thing, but... I guess we got a little bit of purple. I should be happy. Um, okay, graphics card. We are not going to be able to do water-cooled graphics card, but we could do a vertical-mounted air-cooled card. She's just going to have to not be too fat. Keep it skinny here. Um, you know, are there any with, like, white shrouds? I thought, yeah, we got a new 2070 Super from Gigabyte with a white shroud. Which actually looks pretty decent there. Yep. Happy with it. We're doing it. A little bit of pink cabling. Really wish I could just be pure pink. But or purple. Eh. <sighs> I didn't want pink. I want I want I want pink. I want a purple and now I'm calling it pink. Okay. Good. Boom. Great. Um, there's not much RGB in this case, I don't think. Yeah, really. Not much at all. Okay. Um good. And are we, did we forget to, did we forget to put something in this? Is this, it's not turning on? Is that a big deal game? Oh gosh. Um. Okay. How? How many times have I played this? Okay, so it wasn't my fault. I don't know why I didn't at least get some sort of screen there. Weird. Okay. Um, we'll boot it up. We'll do, you know, our usual benchmarks. And uh, we'll take a look at it after she's all ready to go. Did a quick benchmark here. 9,476. And again, that's a 9900K and a 2070 Super. Uh, I did get the RAM up to the XMP settings, uh, which is... What is the XMP? What are, what are the XMP settings? 3,000 megahertz. So not crazy fast by any means. Um, but there it is. That's the benchmark. An interesting thing that they see, they made a couple changes since this was like a point, point 0.5 update, whatever it is, 1.6.5. Um, you notice this? This is weird. Look, right? Like I'm looking at the computer and all the screens go out. Up, oh, they're back. Up, 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 up. Okay. Anyway, you get it. I don't know why they did that. Maybe it's like to help frame rate. Cause sometimes if you get in here on the case, like it does get pretty framey. So I'm guessing, I don't know why I did that. That was an accident. Um, I guess it's to help frame rate or something, but it's kind of weird. It's gonna make screen, it's gonna make screen grabs harder, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Uh, lighting is pretty much actually kind of all where we need it at this point. I like how the RGB, dang. Uh, I like it on the CPU cooler the best. Well, that's fun. It's a nice little transition. Um, so, I want this color, one nineteen zero one sixty eight. I can just do this too. Ha, ah, look at that. Boom, now our GPU is purple. All looks pretty good. Is there? Oh, there's a, oh, there is an RGB strip up here. It's very faint. Most RGB strips are pretty over, I didn't remember that, they, I guess I knew it was in the 510 Elite. I just didn't know how they'd show it. Well, that's fun. Is that it? There's nothing else, I don't think, so. Okay, there's a build in the 510 Elite in the NZXT Workshop. Uh, yeah. I guess not much else to show, but this is, uh, so far, 
This is my favorite workshop. I mean, look at all these beautiful... Look, look at this beautiful thing. I love it. I like NZXD's cases. I'm, I'm biased. I admit it. Um, but yeah, super into it. I like the clean lighting for sure. Will make builds look a little more color accurate, which I'm, which I'm excited about. So there it is, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, if you did enjoy, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one on a PC Building Simulator. We'll be checking out your builds as well. And uh, yeah, either way, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. See ya.